Each day we have a few more people finishing up with combining soybeans, and with the nice September weather we had, most will be able to nose right into corn. We do have some corn off already, and we're seeing some P9630 seeded at the end of April come in at about 19% moisture, and P9492 at roughly 22%. Some 92 to 97 day corn that was seeded in the first week of May seems to be coming in right around 25 to 28% moisture. I'm standing in a corn plot that was seeded May 7th and a week ago, P92399 PCE hand shelled at about 29.5% moisture and today it's at 22%. So we dropped almost seven points of moisture in seven days with all the heat that we had last week. The corn that was drier during the initial tests dried down less than the wetter corn during that same time period. Not all, but most of the corn has now made it to physiological maturity, or what we would commonly refer to as black layer. Black layer happens when the milk line has worked its way all the way down to the base of the kernels, dry matter accumulation in the kernels is complete, and a black layer is formed at the tip of the kernels, blocking any more photosynthate from moving into the grain. At this point, we're at roughly 30 to 35% moisture in the grain, depending on certain hybrid characteristics. And from this point on, we're dependent on the environment and, it, and evaporation to bring the grain down to harvestable moisture. It takes roughly 30 GDUs per point of moisture to dry corn from 30% down to 25%, and about 45 GDUs per point when you're drying from 25% down to 20 it's also important to remember that not all hybrids dry down at the same rate once they're at black layer. Certain characteristics like husk coverage, ear angle, and kernel depth can drastically change dry down rates from field to field and hybrid to hybrid. The warmest part of harvest has passed, and typically once we reach the middle to end of October, GDU accumulation is minimal, but we do have days in the forecast where we will get 10 to 12 GDUs, so that should help bring this corn to a point where we can get it out of the field. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.